to me, well, I'm not a religious person, so to me, I think I see Jesus as a sort of a source of comfort for some people, like in a way that I would open a good book and you know be comforted by it if I'm having a bad day. Um, I guess so, because people people that are very prominent in today's society have their own religious views. So, in a way, yes, because the people that are helping shape society, they they need someone to go to, they need someone to look up to. So, yeah, in a way, I think he is. Um, Jesus is a father, a friend, um, a brother. He's everything to you. He's, um, he's there if you need a time of trouble. He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He's there whenever we need him. He's just everything. He's my provider, he's my keeper, he's my supporter. Um, he's my, my father. Um, I, I feel like Jesus can't be defined in any words because he's awesome. So I'm like, well, if you grew up in the um, Middle East, I believe, then his skin could be a mix. So I, that's who I think he is. I yeah. think he's um, a person of diversity, a person who means good folk. He's just a good example for people, and from what I hear, there's nothing truly wrong about him. Of course, everybody has their flaws, I, mean, I don't exactly know what his are. They may not be him, but I think he would be a good role model. I believe so, okay. because when I was younger, my, my parents would have me say goodnight prayers, but my parents never truly went to church. So I grew up not like with the idea, but it's, I guess it's still there, that idea that oh, there's something out there, so there's a hope to look out for. Um. I think Jesus is um, the Son of God, and He is the person that died for all of us, for our sin. I think that's significant because we have the opportunity to be convicted of our sins and be forgiven, and we can like live a life where we're not sinning anymore. I say that Jesus is a Jesus is love basically, but he also is someone who doesn't like doesn't like bad things, meaning that he loves us the sinner but not the sin. And it relates to today in that today we accept so many things as God loves everyone, but at the same time we know it's wrong. And he just wants us to change and he wants us to Change it for him and love him. I wondered if Jesus was actually real as a person, as more of like a sort of like a, a symbol, but they put it into a male figure. Uh, he's the Son of God. I believe he's um, he's the gateway to God. He's okay. The, he's the he's the one that uh, carry a message to God. He saved me of my sins. Like he washed me away from me. Okay. There's basically, I guess, what he did in the past is what saving me from going to hell. You know, as long as I repent, I worship him and God. Then I, well, not not Jesus, but God. But mm -hmm. I accept Jesus as my savior and I understand that he died for my sins. Okay. Then yeah, it's basically basically my ticket to heaven. More than just a guardian to all of us, okay. he is what we look for when we are down and depressed and something we hold on and dear to us on a daily basis. I would say Jesus is probably the one thing that can hold us okay. together in our lives. In the world today, I see Jesus as um, a model okay. for how we should pursue ourselves. Okay. For our humanities, as in helping each other out and looking after each one of you know, each other okay. as human beings. 